Everybody, how's it going over there on the YouTube? We got Frank the Tank over here. Do people still call you that? Yes, Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank over here, and today we're going to give you guys an update on what's happening with 2022 Call to Crawl, which we absolutely love doing. Now you got to start that over again. Why? I got to get my phone so I can have the dates. I don't know them by the heart. <laughs> Where's your phone? It's in my pocket of my coat. <laughs> This is the interval when we talk about this miniature box of beer. Yeah, do you want a beer? Hey! We, 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 we deal in uh, scale items here, eh? There you go, Bob and Doug, thank you very much for participating on the video <laughs> today. So, what is Call to Crawl? Call to Crawl is a series. It's a four event series where you take the same frame truck with the same body and you take it on four different courses all across the local area here around Ottawa, Canada and you're going to be able to score points that add up over the entire series for events. So, that's the call to crawl for 2022 and Frank the Tank so gladly has taken it over to run it on four local courses. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that a little bit today and give you guys kind of just an overview of what to expect and what you need to do to get ready. What do you got? Okay, uh, there's going to be four locations uh, across Ottawa and one in Pembroke. So basically the first one is April 17th at Ollie's RC Park, which that is close to uh, Rockland. That's the park that I'm taking care uh, of. South, with, yeah. South Ottawa. I'm taking care uh, with uh, Greg, my buddy. And that's on the 17th. I decided to do it there so we can kick it off and do a barbecue at the same time and have hot dogs, burgers, and just have fun over there because it's it's a big place and we can have lots of fun for the whole day. I love barbecue. So, cool place. Uh, next one is going to be in Pembroke on June the 18th in Pembroke. Exactly in Pembroke, I'm not sure. I've seen some pictures and some videos of the guys there that they crawl at a certain spot. And we're going to go uh, inspect some of those spots this summer before the event. Uh, to actually do a nice spot in yeah. Pembroke. So, That's a good idea. So it should be interesting. That serves the guys up north and west of the city. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. And the other guys that I'll always forgotten, uh, but I've seen a lot of pictures or video of them, is actually uh, in Gatineau. Uh, they've been going to the Lac Beauchamp over there. Yeah. And there's some nice rock area. There's a nice big park where you can have fun with some bashers uh, if you're waiting and you're doing stuff. So What's the date for that one? That one is uh, July 10th for that one. Uh, so that one should be fun in Gatineau, uh, Lac Beauchamp. The other one is August 20th. That's going to be the last one. That one's going to be it at Fraggle Rock. Uh, nice. Uh, rock crawler course. Uh, a lot of people know Fraggle Rock. You can find them on uh, Facebook just like uh, all these RC Park. Lots of nice rocks. We'll try to make it m not as hard for those tiny tires because I know we're trying to go scale and things like that but that is a very nice spot to have they've done a lot of work in the last two years uh, and to me the reason I'm doing call to crawl again I miss it I want it back and uh, last time I think we did it or even Carl did it, I think it's 2019 and before that it yeah. was the team challenge way back in 2017 yeah so I want it back and everybody has been like with the rules and all that like like no you can't be together and all that so let's all have a fun have party and just like go out there with the little tiny trucks and have fun. Yeah it's great. So you get to uh, tech in your truck for Call to Crawl. Uh, if you go on the Facebook page there's a link in the description in the video description you can take a look at that and you go to that link and uh, you can see all the rules for tech in how we're going to score the trucks when you start driving. And there's a few things that you can do over the course of the event to actually improve your score. So not just your driving stuff that you're going to look after, like uh, self-recoveries and helping somebody else and getting bonus gates. Those are kinds of things that will help your score. But you can also improve the same truck over the four events. You could add some scale accessories. You can do some functional lighting. You could do some upgrades as you go if you haven't done them already to try to increase your tech score as well before the event even starts pretty great cool like there is functional item like a door yeah. that opens is functional yeah lights that are not working are are items but non-functioning but if they're yeah. if they turn on those are functioning items yep uh, winch is a functioning light items if it if actually it works. works yes if it works you don't have to prove to us that it works we'll take your word for it um, what other functioning items could they be well uh, you could have a recovery jack yeah 
You could definitely get, uh, you could have, um, I've seen some guys make little tiny drills that actually work, like really crazy little scale accessories. There's cool stuff that you can have. Yeah. And any of that stuff that you could use on the trail can be a functional item. So uh, let's talk about recovery ropes or uh, recovery chains ropes, yeah. or some uh, sand ladders or something that can you can use on the on the trail to uh, help your your progress. Is a spare tire considered as a an item, a functional item? Because it is functional, you could use it. You could definitely bring a spare, and it's possible. I won't say it's true, but it's possible that a bonus gate would actually be a spare tire change. Gas cap. Cool. Ah, Cast yeah, any kind of opening door? panel, like a fuel door that opens, or uh, I want an actual door, a hood. A window, all... window that goes up and down. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you could go crazy if you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I know the BRX the one, they have it. Yeah, you can get it for the 70 body, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's a quick update about Call to Crawl. Uh, take a look at the rule structure. If you have any questions or comments, do post them in the Facebook group, and we'll be updating all the information there on a regular basis. You will also get a truck sticker, for call to crawl with the single number on it that your that your truck is for the four series. So if you get a number, say 25 or whatever, then that number you carry throughout the whole series so that we can track your progress and uh, you have this on the same truck. For the four series, you got to ch keep the same body and keep the same chassis. Yep, the you, rules are... You can change the tires though. Yep, yep, you can change your tires. The tire size will give you uh, bonus points for small tires. You can change your tire size if you feel like you're not making enough progress driving. You could go to a bigger tire, but maybe you'll end up losing the tiny tire extra bonus. Uh, you know, you could def definitely, you need the same body, you need the same chassis rails. After that, it's like any other regular truck, right? I mean, if you break an axle and you have to change your axles, well then okay. If you, uh, if if you, you know blow your mean, motor, got to change your motor, that's okay. That stuff's fine, yeah. So you have options to change your powertrain and whatever, but your basic truck has to be the same truck for the whole series. Cool. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Can and it be. sounds like the dates are going to work out with our other stuff for GCM Racing this year, so we'll probably be able to go to all four of those, and that should be a really good time. Really looking forward to seeing all you local guys again, and so thanks so much for hosting this and putting this on. And uh, we'll see you guys pretty soon on a trail. Bye-bye.